So, good afternoon to everybody. My name is Massimiliano Corsini. I'm the, the business development director of Toscotec. Uh, since three years, Toscotec has started the new uh, project for tissue rewinders. And the, with this in presentation, we are going to uh, introduce the product characteristic and the main future. Uh, yeah, okay. So, the new product has been uh, uh, taught and developed uh, to minimize the effect of the uh, rewinding on the paper and to facilitate the machine operation for time and production optimization. As you well know, the best rewinder is the one that is not uh, uh, causing issue to the property given by the, the, the fish machine. Let me first introduce the components that are composing the, the rewinders. So we have uh, a wine stands up to four, depending on the ply that the, the, the paper makers wants to use. Calendar, slitting group, automatic sh shaft puller, automatic core loading system, and dust removal system. Even if it's not requested by the customer, we are applying the uh, the, the, the fences that they used also for the uh, dust removal system. Here we have a short view of the rewinder and uh, how it has been designed. So we can see how it has been taught and the fences that are used and uh, how it is composed. So let's go through the uh, machine portfolio. So we have four types of rewinder, Optima shaftless, Optima 1800, Optima 2200, and Optima 2600. As you can see from the naming, uh, the number is related to the finish wheel. So uh, it means that uh, with the Optima 2600, you can uh, produce up to 2.6 meters uh, uh, diameters. Uh, shaftless is a shaftless machine. So we are not using any shaft, and it's mostly used into the uh, Asian market. The others are fitted to the request of the Western, uh, let's say, market. So looking at uh, the rewinder itself, we start from uh, the single components, analyzing how it uh, looks like. So we have a wine stands. As you can see from the table, we have uh, principally two types of wine stands in terms of real uh, actuation and uh, some motion can be also applied to the uh, wine stands. So for the real dimension, we normally applied two, one or two uh, arms holding the, the, the bells. Uh, the arms actuation is used to be done or pneumatic or electromechanic. And also we have a system that is compensating the unevenness of the, uh, the reel in case of a long standing on the floor or uh, on, the, on, the, on the paper mills. Uh, also, we applied to our wine stands the central wind assist that is a system in order to relieve the uh, pressure of the belt that ca can uh, damage the paper properties. Going through, we have calendar. We are normally offering two types of calendar, skewing calendar and the crown control calendar. Skewing calendar has a fixed role that uh, through the skewing system is uh, relieving and uh, let's say compensating the deformation of the roll itself. And the crown control calendar where the uh, lower roll actuated by a hydraulic system is compensating the deformation so to have, in order to have a better uh, nip between the two rolls. Then we have slitting units. Slitting units could be manual, visualized, or automatic. Manual, the operator has uh, a, a measurement on the beams that could apply the, the single measure for each slitting. And of course, it's moved each slit as manually. Then we have the visualized, where the operator has uh, a screen where I can see the measure of, for each uh, uh, slit as position it. And then we have the automatic that, for, of course, uh, the, the, the operator is only using the 
uh, received and by uh, computer on board is doing everything automatically, of course. Shaft puller. Shaft puller, we are used to use uh, uh, shaft from 3 to 10 inches. But in case of request, we can also apply the 12 inches. American market used to have also 12 inches. And the core loader, that is also applied in case of the uh, paper mill wants to have a complete automatic uh, uh, handling of the, the, the machine. Let's go through uh, a small video where we have all the characteristics that we have already mentioned, starting from the central wind assistant. Here you can see how it's applied. Then we have the compensation for the real unevenness on the arms of the uh, wine stands. So you can see how the actuator is moving. And here some operation, manual operation for the treating system where the operator manually is doing the passage of and the treating of the paper from one stand and the other. Here you can see also how we are moving forward from our wine stands to the calendar and how the paper is supported. The opening of the calendar, the paper passing through. Then we have a movable walkway where normally the operators stay and look at the slitting system. Slitting system, as I said before, three methods, manual, visualized, or automatic. The support of the slitters is movable for the treating system to facilitate the treating of the paper without to have any breaks on, on the paper. And then we have the automatic uh, web treating system starting from the movable walkways. So this is not an option, this is something that's also always included in our supply. Uh, the paper is it's moved uh, on the position of where the operator stay. We have a plane that is movable, and so we have the space for the operator to stay and to get the paper when it's uh, passed. So the, in that case, uh, the calendar is closed, the slitter uh, starts to run, and we have uh, the slitting, a, move, a manual cutting of the paper once the shaft is on the position. Then we have uh, removal of the exceeded paper by hand. And then here we are starting uh, uh, the new operation of the rewind. So as I said, we have a manual trading system, but we have also a complete automatic trading system starting from the last unwind stance. Looking at that, we can see how does it works. So we have uh, a rope that starting from the last wine stands. The principle is the same that we have in the, in the treating system that we saw before. So the paper is passed from the last wine stands, moved forward up to the rewind head. So the first layer is the support for the rest of the paper. So once the the paper is treated up to the, the winder head. We are enlarging the paper, the full width, closing the uh, calendar. And then the, la the, the other uh, layer is left on, on the support made by the first layer and bring it to the, the winder head. And once again, we are arriving at the end where all the paper is done closing the, the, the support, the slit is in function. The new shaft is placed. We have the cutting and the blowing in order to restart, uh, let's say, the, the machine. And the machine now is in operation again. Okay, so just uh, some ballots related to the concept that uh, 
has been used in order to create this new model of machine. So Optimum Rewind is designed for limited time for finish roll changing, automatic shift handling, limited manual operation, machine safety design and approach, and machine friendly operation. So now we are going through the automatic operation, especially for the rewind ahead. The reel, the finished reel is completed. We are going to change the new, in order to start the new uh, reel. So through uh, the movable position and the movable uh, fences where is linked the, the new shaft, we are starting the new production. Now we can see the shaft puller operation. The shaft puller automatically is looking for the shaft into the rewind. A new set of core has been placed by the operator. There is a sensor that is looking to the, uh, the shaft position, deflection of the shaft into the reel, and insertion in the new cores. On the other hand, on the other position, we have the inflation of the new shaft. So now the new shaft is ready to be placed once again on the machine. We have the cradle that is downloading the finished reel. And meanwhile, of course, the machine is in operation. The new core is positioned on the cradle, and the automatic system is bringing back to the parking station for the new core. Here we have a I sorry. Okay. I don't know why, but there is a mistake on the. Okay. So, uh, saying that everybody knows that the action that are ruining the uh, paper on the rewinding are principally two. One is the ten tensioning, and the other one is the uh, the pressure that is given by the rewinding. So, starting from the the, the tensioning. Uh, the way to keep it always under control is to have a system that is permitted to do it. So our choice is to use vectorial uh, motors in all the machine that is controlling each rolls in order to have uh, a speed that is always controlled. So we are creating a sort of uh, gearing between of, uh, uh, the, uh, the motors. So it's like to have a mechanical gear, gear that is linked each motor one and the other. And so here you can see the effort that you can have when the tension is not really controlled. So the creeping is stretched and uh, also the, the, the paper is elongated, let's say. So in this way, we are controlling this effect in order to keep it as less as, as possible. Of course, it's not possible to avoid completely, but it's something that helps a lot. Then we have uh, the nip control. So in, in Toscotech, we have started a system that is permitting us to keep as much as possible the bulk and the thickness of the product. Uh, we have started an algorithm that, let's say, is controlling and calculating the parameters given by the machine on board, in the machine, we have some sensor that is detecting the, let's say, uh, the pressure that, uh, and the nip that is creating or is, is, is doing by the winding. Here we have the effect also by the pressure given by the rewinder. So in this way, controlling the uh, information arrived by the sensor on board and do, uh, uh, according to the algorithm that we have in our system, we are calculating and we are correcting in every time of the rewinding the effect of the relieving. So in this way, we are controlling to have at the end of the day all the reels that have the same density, the same bulk loss, and the same thickness. Here we have a small example 
or what could be the results in order to save the bulk and the thickness of the, the paper. So here you can see we have not only, a, a, let's say, a technical issue, but we have also a production issue. So if you can keep uh, bulk loss less than 3%, for sure we have uh, money gaining into the production as well. Uh, the last two years, Doscotec has sold 14 new projects. Most of them are already stalled, functioning, and performant. Contacts, I'm here for your, any question if you may need or arise. And thank you again for your attention. Thank you. Thank you again for your...